Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to my guide on how to install mods for Oblivion using Mod Organizer. When you think of the faces of the characters of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, the word beautiful does not come to mind. Potato is almost the most likely words because the characters, they look very bland, very awful. I'm not a big fan of how they look in the vanilla game, it just doesn't seem natural. The faces are plastic, they're shiny, there's not a lot to them. So today we're going to be taking a look at a mod that will fix this. Welcome to my guide on how to install the Character Creation Overhaul V2, or the Better Faces mod as it's often known, for the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. This mod is going to improve the faces dramatically, giving you awesome looks as you can see here on the screen. I'm going to show you how to install it with Mod Organizer and get everything up to snuff. This is going to make your races in the game look not just beautiful, but more realistic. They're going to fit in much better with the world. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, the first thing you're going to need to do is download and install the Blockhead OBSE plugin. To do this, head over to the file section of the mods page and then download the main file manually. After you've downloaded it, bring it to your desktop and extract it into a folder. Open up said folder and then go inside the OBSE folder, go inside the plugins folder, and find the blockhead.dll. Copy this and then open up your Oblivion directory. This is most commonly located in Steam, Steam Apps Common Oblivion. Once inside your Steam, Steam Apps Common Oblivion folder, open up the data folder, open up the OBSE folder, open up the plugins folder, and go ahead and hit paste. This will put the blockhead DLL in there. Now that blockhead has been installed, what we're going to need to do is install the actual mod itself. To do that, head over to the link in the description and go to the file section of the mods page and then click the download with manager button. It's going to remind you you need blockhead and OBSE, but we've already covered that, so click continue with download. Once the file has been downloaded, head over to the downloads tab of your Oblivion mod organizer and then double click. This will open up a folder like this which you're going to need to set the data directory for. After that, click OK. It will take a few moments to install the mod and then everything should be good. Now, there's a couple things we're going to talk about before I end the episode because you may experience some problems if you don't follow my advice. The first thing we're going to do is adjust the Oblivion Innie if you didn't already at the beginning of this series. We're going to be looking for a line that says B Face Mip Maps right here. And we are going to want to make sure that this is set to zero. Go ahead and set that to zero and then hit the save button. Something else you're going to want to check is to make sure that you have some form of archive and validation running. You can do this by going to the archives tab and making sure that there is an Oblivion Invalidation BSA or the Archive Invalidation Invalidated BSA. As long as you have one of these checkmarked over here, then it is working. Anyways, that's all the time we have. Drop a like on the video if you liked it, and if you'd like me to continue with my Oblivion modding tutorial series, drop a dislike on the video if you'd like me to do something else, or if you don't like me, or if you want to express any other position other than the thumbs up based position, and leave a comment down below telling me that I am an aardvark. Thank you very much for watching, I've been Zool, and I hope that you will have an excellent Excellent day.